This is Bay Area Sports Weekly dot com's NCAA College Baseball report from around the Bay Area. I'm Brian Professor B. Davis here at the press box here at Evans Diamond on the campus of the University of Berkeley. Cal Golden Bears taking on the Oregon Ducks from the Pac-12 Conference as in the second game of the three-game series. This was the site for our game of the week in review as the Cal Golden Bears, as the Oregon Ducks defeat the Cal Golden Bears on Saturday night at Evans Diamond in Berkeley by a score of 10-4. to 4. The Cal Golden Bears um, getting, it was early pretty much, uh, it was all Oregon Ducks from the start, from the get-go. They scored eight runs in the first two innings. Um, also included having a big night at the plate was um, the right fielder Scott Heinemann went uh, three for five at the plate with a pair of home runs and he had four RBIs. Ryan Healy went uh, two for four with um, with including a two with a home run. He had uh, two RBIs. Uh, Heinemann had uh, four RBIs in the game and scored three runs. And the Bears um, starter Keaton Smoykin got lit up, lasting just one inning, five earned runs. Walked one in the inning pitch, while his counterpart Cole Cole Irvin went five innings pitch, gave up seven hits, four earned runs, walked two Golden Bears bears with two strikeouts. With the win, the Oregon Ducks um, improved their record 11-3 in Pacific in Pac-12, and they and 28 in 26 and 8 overall. They remain in first place in the Pac-12. Conference, while the Cal Golden Bears drop their fifth in a row, they drop the five and nine in Pac-12 and 16 and 18 overall. The Golden Bears have now lost five in a row, seven of their last eight, and ten of the last 13 ball games overall. And let's uh, check around other baseball action in the Pac-12 Conference on um, on Saturday. And around the Pac-12 Conference and Bay Area Sports Weekly.com's college baseball update, number 23, 23rd ranked Stanford end up uh, dropping an 11-3 decision. And they got romped by the, uh, they got romped by the Washington Huskies up in Seattle, as um, as Washington came up swinging from the start Saturday night, banging out 16 hits and against four Cardinal pitchers. Designated hitter Michael. Kim- Comparley went two for six with four RBIs. The Huskies opened up scoring with two out, two run double at the top of the first by Jay Ray and Ryan Wiggins. And Stanford would answer back with a two hit attack from Brian Regera, first baseman, and Austin Voth offering a deep fly ball to center for his third home run of the season. So, with the win or with the loss, however, the, the Stanford Cardinals. Um, uh, as we um, check it out, the box score from that game, as with the loss, the 23rd ranked Stanford Cardinals, um, they will drop their record to, um, we don't know what their record is, but um, we, um, but the Stanford Cardinals will be back in action. Um, so we'll, um, so with the loss, Stanford drops their record to 6-5 and five in the uh, the Pac-12 in 18-11 overall, while the Washington Huskies improved their record to 3-8 and 9-23 and and overall. And the uh, Stanford down at um, earlier today at Klein Field at, at uh, Sunken Diamond, it was Washington over Stanford. The third final game of the rubber match of a three-game series between the Washington Huskies and the Stanford Cardinals will take place at Sunken Diamond on Sunday first pitch will be at one o'clock Pacific Standard Time and check around other baseball action on uh, Saturday night around the West Coast in the Bay Area for Bay Area teams locally in the West Coast Conference it was the University of San Francisco Dons winning another game in extra innings they win it by a score of five to three in 13 innings Saturday down at um, at Stephen Schott Stadium in Santa Clara as um, missed opportunities for at the plate. Zachary Turner and Bob Krusek delivered in the top of the 13th with run scoring, hit scoring. Jason Mahood and Bradley Zimmer, who's single earlier, 
the Dons collected 17 hits in the game, or just was 4 for 20, bagged 200 with runs in scoring position, 3 for 14 with two outs, has been a consistent problem. Dons pitchers won the majority of the battles, holding Santa Clara 3 for 15 with a 200 bagging average with runs in scoring position. And the Dons scored once early in the second inning on the third with Bradley Zimmer's solo home run. I uh, hit a solo home run of the year. The left center extended the Dodgers lead to two to nothing, but that home run it was Zimmer's sixth of the season. And um, Alex Baylock started the game pitching to the eighth inning, allowing three earned runs on ten hits. And after leaving a leadoff batter to eighth, Baylock gave it away to Andrew Polito, Polito who escaped with a one out first base jam to keep the game tied. The Dodgers are now fourth with the win. San Francisco is now seven and four in West Coast Conference play, and um, and they're also uh, seventeen and fourteen, thirteen overall, four games above five hundred. They're eight and three in one run games. They improved to four and one in extra inning games. The Dons will play the Broncos for the or the Dons have won 8 of the last nine, 9 games and 7 of the last 9 in West Coast Conference and 12 of the last 16 overall and the Dons um, and the Dons and Broncos will play the third and final game at Shot Stadium on Sunday as the Dons try to complete a 3 game sweep over the Santa Clara Broncos at Shot Stadium first pitch for that game is at 1 o'clock Pacific Standard Time also other baseball scores around the West Coast on Saturday on Saturday as we go into the West Coast Conference. It was um, West Coast Conference play. St. Mary's dropping a 4-2 decision to St. Mary's. And um, also in the uh, in the Western Athletic Conference, um, as we check into the Western, Athlet in the Western Athletic Conference in the WAC, it was uh, San Jose State dropping a 9-4 decision to University of Texas Arlington. A reminder, Bay Area Sports Weekly reminder, um, San Francisco Giants will be having their Filipino Heritage Night coming up on Tuesday, April 23rd, when your San Francisco Giants, your world champion San Francisco Giants, will be taking on the Arizona Diamondbacks for Filipino Heritage Night. For more information or go for your tickets, go to sfgiants.com. This has been the Bay Area Sports Weekly.com's NCAA College Baseball Report, reporting here from Evans Diamond in Berkeley as the Oregon Ducks defeat the Cal Golden Bears on Saturday night by a score of 10 to 4 as the Oregon Ducks improve their record to 11 and 3 and remain sole possession of first place in the Pac-12 and 26 and 8 overall while the Cal Golden Bears drop to 5 and 9 in 16 and 18 overall this is Bay Area Sports Weekly dot com your 24 hour news service the interview bringing your best sports news from the Bay Area and beyond and the BayerSportsWeekly.com is the exclusive network of the home of champions.